In the years past, Leatherman has been an excellent brand. Quality, innovation, value, customer service, blah, 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 all the stuff I've talked about in my reviews. By the way, this will eventually be my tabletop review on the OHT MDMT. You're watching the Nut and Fancy Project, TMP for short, year whatever, and it is also a brand. Now here I don't make multi-tools, knives, flashlights, guns, not yet. Instead, I provide information and entertainment. And I too try to make that to the highest quality level I can. The highest integrity I can make it, that's what I'm about. And by the way, we're adventuring while we do it. And that's their logo, here's mine. Least in days past, these are the owl patches. Back in stock, by the way, shameless promotion, web store at the top. But it stands for the same thing. That's their brand, this is mine. That's my point. Brand is important because it becomes a recognizable feature of what something stands for. They know what it's going to be. So if you watch a nut and fancy video, you notice no BS, there's no payoffs. I serve my audience. There you go. And we make patches to represent that and the adventures we've done. That one's sold out. I think that one's gone forever. Check this out. Na 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 na. <laughs> this makes me laugh just seeing at it. Seeing it. It's the first time I've ever shown it to the TMP entire viewing audience. If you subscribe to my Twitter feed, I've shown it there. It is in stock for now. This is designed by Tactical Doodle and Last Suspect, my son. It is very tongue in cheek. Wear this to your next tactical shoot. Freaking weenie with a beanie and a balloon. <laughs> Top expert. <laughs> yes, we have a sense of humor in the project. That's part of my brand. So we can switch back and forth very quickly. Going serious, going funny. Going serious, going funny. That's just the way I'm put together. Oh yeah, TMP Shark Patch. Back in stock. Limited edition. The reason I start off with a brand discussion, other than the shameless promotion, of course, is to tell you how hard it is to make a brand to the level, enough of TMP, that Leatherman has done. Now, and it's not all about Leatherman. Don't take this review that way. Victorinox, Sog, Gerber, also making fabulous multi-tools. I've given them some coverage as well. But in terms of what I said at the beginning, value, especially innovation like the OHT, maybe SAWC, because they just have all different sizes of multi-tools, I still think Leatherman has it going on. They don't rest on their laurels. They are always pushing the envelope. They're never con content to just let it ride. Again, we're going to look at the OHT as an example. Now, once upon a time, I did a video called the Multi-Tool Continuum. I'm sorry, it is entirely too long. <laughs> However, in that video, the subject matter is very correct in that I break out what I perceive to be the design, engineering, and classifications of multi-tools. And I do that so I do not have to roll it in every POU discussion we have. This, to me, is an HDMT. It's not exactly lightweight. I'm talking the OHT. What acronyms. 11.2 ounces by my scale, which is usually right, that makes it somewhat portly to be on your person at all times. I've had that discussion here many times on camera when we talk about multi-tools. However, if in your system, by the way, this is my cut still from Mr. Victor Knox Swiss tool <laughs> with a mutt review. That's funny. Go watch that video. I just showed it as it happened. Pretty funny. There's that sense of humor again. If your system is going to be able to accommodate more weight, maybe the HDMT is right for you. Quality is phenomenal, from what I can tell. It doesn't mean it's perfect. For instance, uh, this does have, I want to just start with a tool review as we maybe talk a little bit about POU. It does not, for instance, have quick deploying pliers is awesome. Spring loaded, no less. Like perfection in the wiggle department. But it's close. I mean, there is some movement on the handles right here. But for it, it to deploy the way it does, for all the tool sets to work and deploy easily with one hand, maybe that's the way they need to make it. I've shown that in some other multi-tools as well. Gerber comes to mind, where there's perhaps some wiggle in the, in the motion. How about EDC? I think I pretty much blew that out of the water. But it just depends who you are. 
you won't find me carrying this it's just too heavy instead you might i want to roll in a competitive option i just showed this but how about a charge or a wave that is 11 ounces carry weight total with the two-dimensional bits in the sheath kind of like this so here's the old cabela's one that i showed you years ago this is a charge tti i think cabela's version oh dude that's sick daddy like sorry i'm getting excited but uh the bits right there so 11.2 ounces huge amounts of utility maybe some stubby drivers we'll see that that is also kind of an issue with oht to me this would be more what i would have just because it has more tool sets that i would like your mileage could vary depends who you are edc nope maybe something bigger you're a work or a tradesman of some sort and you need the tool set that has yeah do it and of course i always say gift item any heavy duty or medium duty multi-tool that leatherman makes as a gift gift item will make your man cry dudes cue up this video show it to the wife hopefully she sees it you'll get score a good oht or something out of it all right tool review we showed that these are spring loaded i really like that I really like that. One reason is because the articulation on some of the tools, and I'll just pick on the wave here. Now, the tolerances of, of the Leathermans are so good that the head will not fold, but sometimes I've been in a work situation where this will happen. and Or I just have to kind of do this, motion it open. A spring-loaded plier head might be a good thing. Do I need it all the time? No, I'm just saying. I'm giving it kudos where some's deserved. Let's compare the head against the uh, Wave and the OHT. You can see there's some air in there on the OHT. Tip comes together. This portion's about the same. It strikes me as these being a little bit more precise. The OHT, I could be wrong on that. Perhaps just slightly stronger than the Wave Charge series. It does have replaceable 154 CM cutters. I always like that, an innovation, I believe, of Leatherman very cool and on this one since it's spring loaded you're not going to see a soft wire cutter i think i may have cut with this one you may see some damage there <laughs> i'm famous for that if i can if it can break i'll do it coloration on this by the way is phenomenal fde on the slabs and then again you have a variety of pictograms on this multi-tool see that very cool in case you forget where it goes We'll start with this one right here. That's the main blade. Do you notice anything that is somewhat of a compromise in the OHT? And I got to keep it real. And here comes the wave again. I'm going to fold the tool and then deploy its main blade for comparison. And it will become readily apparent. That's right, size. Since we're deciding, I'm saying where the designer's deciding to integrate most of the main tools in the side and exterior of the OHT so they are accessible from the exterior and they're opting to go with a driver on the opposite side you're limited by handle space on the wave and the charge series which I still think is a little bit more elegant you can put a more full-size blade about a three inch blade beautifully shaped by the way easily accessible this is a black oxide wave oh, getting excited I, I've always said that about the wave charge I just love them love them love them love them, love them. I own like six I know I'm sick what can I say now this is like a miniaturized version of that same blade very functional I'm glad to see there's no serrations on it. it is 420 HC hollow ground this version blackened subject to change good blade it's kind of a little pin blade then we get to our driver sets and by the way these are lockable as you would expect and by the way if you don't need that plier out you can retract it and just use tool sets like this and if you don't ever want that coming out you can actually rotate this and it will lock the plier head in place i do find this rotates perhaps a little too easily it needs to be stiffened up leatherman so it shouldn't be able to rotate so easy or come up with a different way because sometimes carrying this i found that i had accidentally deployed it just a short point so there's your flat blade driver it is stubby i know what you guys are saying i'm not even going to say it this video so uh, <laughs> there's a lack of reach there I know, I know you guys are still saying it. I'm still not going to say it. There's your uh, can opener right there. Old school Leatherman style. Not quite as graceful as a Victorinox. I'll stick by that. It works fine. 
there's a saw and it's probably too short to be of any use. I'd almost prefer that to be a file right here or some mini scissors. That would be cool, mini scissors. Because yes, just like all multi-tools, you're gonna have to give up something. You can't have everything unless you just want a really fat big MT. You got no file, no scissors, no all, no replaceable saw on this one. There's a seat belt cutter with an O2 wrench, something I will never use, the O2 wrench. That can open clamshells and it can probably strip some wire and cut rope as well. It's got a flat bladed driver on it. Right there, cool. And then finally, but not last, a two-dimensional, somewhat longer shank Phillips driver. And that's it. That is it. Because you can't have an interior tool set with this design. You guessed it. Because it has the quick deploying pliers. This is the primary design feature of the OHT. By the way, when you deploy it, don't hold it like that. It'll pinch it, hold it to the side, and it'll come right out. And no, Leatherman's definitely not the only quick deploying ones out there. SOG does a great job with that. Excellent. So do some others. OHT. That is the tool set. The question you have to ask yourself, there's an interior look in case you're wondering. Is it enough? Um, for me, and I got to be honest with you guys, I, I want more out of it. So I would probably opt for, again, this. For what I want. And there's another reason, too. I think the drivers are very stubby on this one. See how short they are? I just don't think they have enough reach. I can put longer shank drivers into both of these multi-tools with a driver bit holder. Now, granted, the ones I'm running right here are stubby as well. But look at the selection. Remember, the total carry weight of either of these MTs is the same as OHT, so I would prefer them. I'll just say it. You'll never see me carrying that. Not, not when I have these options here. And then I just reviewed the, the multi-tool, the multi-tool, the mutt, the Leatherman mutt, and then you remember those long shank ones they have here. That would give you a lot of reach, overcoming that problem, and you could run it in here. I think for the $75 you pay for the OHT, Still a cool multi-tool. Not perfect. Not No, no multi-tool will be. You can get, a again, the very vicious, apparently, tonight, Victorinox Swiss tool. That's about the same weight, 11.6 ounces. It's got, I think, a more functional blade. Able to cut, apparently, tonight. There's your file. There's your all tiny driver. The OHT does not have that. Longer shank Phillips. The OHT doesn't have that. Very small flat uh, driver here. It's got this sick kind of pry blade on it. Flat driver here, flat driver here. It's just a more complete tool. It doesn't have scissors in it though. Same weight. Just keeping it real. And that's all I'm gonna show you. There's a sheath for that Swiss tool, by the way. For the money though, OHT in the ballpark. But for the reasons I've talked about, and it does have the 25 year warranty, by the way. And here's its carry case. Same as we've seen before. This one's more of a tannish color. Molly capable inner pouch for two dimensional bits. But for the price you're going to pay, totally worth it. They come in tan and black, I believe, subject to change. One day it will be retired. I actually love how Leatherman does that. And they'll come out with something else. I would suspect, I did not hard use it, but I suspect it has excellent toughness and strength. There's a lot of great competitive options, but I still think... Uh, despite a few small criticisms on this one, the best multi-tool manufacturer out there is hands down Leatherman. There I said it. See ya. That fancy project. And yeah, that's my brand. Out.